Hey everybody, it's Josh and Jan here with a brand new Let's Play. I'm here with a brand new Let's Play of Surgeon Simulator 2013. I'm not sure if I'm going to even complete this or anything like that. I just really wanted to give it a try. I haven't done a Rage game in a while. I've seen some videos of this. Um, so, I, uh, I learned a little bit about the controls. Not enough, apparently. But, uh, we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this out of here. Alright, thank you for that. Alright, no, no, I need these tools, cloth, so... Um, I need the tools, cloth, so if you can just get kindly get out of my face. Thank you. Alright, first things first. This needle... And this needle. I'm not sure one of these... Come on. Okay. Watch this pops off. It's a it's a it's a safety device. It's a safety feature of said watch. I'm trying to get this. Okay, forget the bone saw. We're gonna use the power drill. That's what we learned in the University of Phoenix of uh, online medicine. Medicine, medicine, medicine is actually more appropriate. It's the actual term that we use in the University of Phoenix. And uh, this this the drill technique. Uh, is something I've mastered personally, and they were very impressed with it. That they gave me my my doctorate uh, two weeks ahead of everyone else, um, which is out of a four week course. Of course, that's a long time. I know medical school takes a lot, but you know, sacrifices gotta make. All right, it's just uh, it's gonna get all this. It's okay that the bone chips just fly in there. Don't really, don't really need them. Oh, oh eh, eh, yeah. Holes in organs. Uh, those organs are going to come out eventually. Uh, what this guy really needs to do is learn how to evolve to use uh, no organs. You know, then he wouldn't be in this predicament in the first place. Um, when we learned bedside manner in University of Phoenix's online medicine school. Uh, that was one of the things they taught us, is to berate the patients and uh, drill holes into their organs as to toughen them up so they don't have to return. It's preventative medicine, people. Preventative medicine. That's the key. You know, and insurance companies agree because they don't have to keep paying for this crap. You know how much I'm getting paid to do this? Like, five cents. All right. Oh, and then that's what you, what you gotta do is when you're done with the drill, you let it go, let it be free, because it's, it's just, it needs to take a break. It's a lot of hard work going on. Make sure you get some of these large chunks, not because he doesn't need, need not because they don't belong in there. It's because they uh, just happen to get in your way and, you know, fuck anything that gets in your way. Uh, another thing in, in, in med school about bedside manner they taught me is, you know, just flick off the person. And if, you, if you'd like, you can just be kind and just gently rub it all over. Alright. And then, if he, if he complains too much, you can just, you can just, shh, just tell him to, just, shh, it'll be okay. It's okay, bug. It, it'll be okay. Shh. Alright. And give him wet willy while you're at it. That's good. Okay, and uh, these uh, lungs right here, not necessary. Not necessary. Uh, we'll give those to uh, dog food company and um, make a little bit of money on the side. The, the hospital doesn't know about that, but you know, they don't. Whatever they don't know doesn't hurt them. That's all it that matters. Uh, come on, and this sometimes the lungs can be a little bit stubborn. Just, just, just yank, just yank and pull and yank until the sucker pops out. We're gonna get this. Sorry, guys. And and there it is. There we go. You can just drop it on the floor. Dogs don't need clean food. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Doesn't really matter which one. It, I uh, they call me one of my nicknames in in uh, University of Phoenix Med Medical School is uh, Sticky Fingers Josh, uh, Sticky Fingers McGee. Also, um, Doctor Doctor Sticky Fingers McGee is what they, my name. It's actually on my lab coat. I've had them embroider it. Um, go 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 Phoenix go Phoenix. Goofini? Is that the plural phoenixes? They didn't teach us grammar. Uh, in, by the way, and if any of you out there are uh, in that online medical school, the, the, medican, the medican school of online terminology, um, 
you'll know this technique that I'm using here. It's just called the stab and go. The stab and go. And if you, if you, go ahead and take, if you're in class right now, go ahead and take notes. Because, you know, I, I understand. It was a hard, it was a hard two weeks. You know, I graduated two weeks before everyone else out of that four week college because of my, how, how well I mastered some of these techniques. So, let's just go ahead and get that. I think there's some other things in here that we can go ahead and just go ahead and grab out now. Like, uh, oh, I was going to say like this liver here. Uh, someone can give it to the dogs with a little bit of onion, liver and onion. It's always good. It's a classic meal. We're going to go ahead and just, just shove our bare fingers right in there. Oh! Don't worry if it makes that sound and looks like that. Okay, let, go, ahead and let, uh, go ahead and let the patient snuggle up with that. Uh, it's kind of like a teddy bear. It's a, it's a security blanket type thing, type of deal. Um, and uh, yeah, those numbers dropping down. It's no, it's not a problem. You know, it's not, it's not a huge problem because there's plenty of blood to go around. Again, you're toughing them up. That's uh, that's the main goal here is toughen them up because you don't want to have to do this again. One, because it's just better for everyone, and two, you know, you don't want to have to come into work. You want to get paid to do nothing. Is what you want to do. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and just kind of jab that around in there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take that out. It's okay if that just rests in there a little bit. Um, kind of give them a souvenir when they go home. And we're going to reach in and grab... We're going to go reach in and grab this stomach. Maybe you don't really need that stomach out. Let him keep a little bit. I know mean, he's kind of a pussy, so... He's a puss. Just let him have it. Uh, we're going to grab another one of these knives. Because uh, we're going to have to do the same technique with the heart. With the heart. Whew. Man, it is hot in here. A little bit of sweat. Just add that in. We're going to try and grab some of these uh, drugs here. And we're going to stab it into his neck until he's done complaining. And... Uh, is that, is that good enough for you there, patient? Is that good enough for you? Okay. 185 milliliters I let you keep. All right. Don't say I wasn't nice to you. I'm, I'm probably too soft on you. Probably too soft. You just... What am I doing? All right. Probably too soft. You understand me? Don't let it go to your head. All right. Now. First things first. That's, uh... Need one of these knives, and we're gonna grab this one. And this is actually the proper. I was using my own way, but since you guys are learning, I'm using this. This is the proper holding technique for uh, scalpels. Uh, I often like to use butter knives, and he's passed out. He's sleeping. Uh, turns out he doesn't really need new heart. We're just gonna let him go with that. Next patient. Okay. Now, this time, guys, try and remember everything that I taught you, uh, because just get, just get just get out of here. We don't need to see the numbers. All right, just try and remember everything I taught you. First thing, what's the first thing we do? Power drill. Right. We're gonna grab that, and look at this. This is a, this is a, the whole, the technique that I've developed in uh, the University of Phoenix Medical School. And uh, you just wiggle around a little bit. It's kind of like a hocus pocus thing when you have a wand, and uh, you just you just go around the bones like so until uh, they all come off. Yeah, some of the bones are stubborn, so don't don't worry about just uh, just getting in there, digging in. And University of Phoenix, I would never. I got a lot to thank you for getting me through this medical school and just let it go sometimes it gets stuck inside your hand it's amazing uh, pretty impressive actually all right and uh, let's see what do we what, what kind of stuff we got this ribs you don't need them oh, we no longer need the bone saw that's a lot of a lot of conventional doctors use bones bone saws uh, when they're uh, operating on on rib cages but honestly Honestly, uh, we're at, 
the Phenai of the University of Phoenix uh, are unconventional. We like to blaze new trails, right? Any uh, any fellow students out there or alumni? There you go. And uh, we're just going to be a little bit softer on this guy because uh, you know bedside manner and all that. But we're gonna we're, he doesn't need these. We're, we're not going to ease up on these on these organs. He doesn't need these. All right. You don't need these. One step at a time, though. You can't just throw them all. A lot of the patients you just can't just throw them into the fire. With what with them being pusses and all. Get rid of that. All right, we're gonna uh, uh, remember the stab and go technique. T you get rid of the stomach and uh, just hover over one of these knives until they just decide to, to stick to our hands. There we go. And, uh, there we go, alright, let's, uh, let's get in there, and we're gonna, we're gonna cut the top tube, um, that is the, that is the technical name for this, the tube, the stomach tube, to be precise, uh, the tummy tube is another name you can use for it, and just, just, just stab and go, stab and go. We're okay. Come on. And uh, go ahead and get a different angle in there. Okay, got one. Don't need all that for now. Just drop it somewhere. That's all right. We're going to reach in there. Grab that baby up. Reach in there. Grab that baby up. And, uh, you know, again, use the hover technique. It'll, it'll come to you. There we go. Who needs that food sack? Who needs to eat, really? Not me. Not me. I'm like the Bear Grylls of Medican. That was another one of my nicknames from college. I had that. T I had that uh, embroidered onto my uh, jacket as well. I actually have a whole list of embroidered nicknames from college uh, that I like to. I like to call myself. Makes me feel good. I accomplished something, you know. Um. The heart can be a little bit stubborn sometimes, so you just gotta get in there and jab, jab around. Just, just get, just work it. Just work that angle. There we are. Alright, I saw it move a little bit. Let's see if we can yank it out. Uh, whew, it is hot in here. Alright. And, uh, okay. Where did that blood drug go? Here you are. Because, oh! Well, looks like he's going to have to learn to uh, deal without that, so. As I said, we're just going to toughen him up a bit. Alright, let's grab that out. Let's grab that baby. Come on. There you are. There. Oh, oh, almost. We're going to get you. We're going to get you, you little heart. You little bastard. Get. Ah. We're going to get him. No worries, guys. We. There it is. Alright. Alright. Fantastic. That's your old heart. You don't need it, guy. We got this brand new baboon heart for you. Okay? You just... This is how you properly implant the heart. You just plop it in there. There you do. Just plop it in there. You don't need to reconnect. Baboon hearts are, are insanely... Uh, resilient. And they just like to connect. They'll, they'll grow their reconnections back. And voila, that is how it's done, my fellow Fini and others looking to be Medican students at the University of Phoenix. That is how it's done. Uh, Dr. Dr. Uh, Sticky Fingers McGee, at your service. Embroidered on my, on my coat. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you. I, I hope I never see you again, sir. You'll learn, you'll learn a little bit of those organs. So, anyway. If you really enjoyed this training video, click the links in the splash screen for more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. Toodles! Goose <laughs> 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 Rava. Goose Rava. Put on your face. Whatever. My earphones, my Walkman. Happy photo here in the Here we go! Get up on the- Oh shit! No! 